Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video we're going to be talking about several potential ways that humanity might perish from this beautiful planet Earth and several reasons that might cause the end of humanity as we know it. So let's find out what they are and welcome to What The Math. <laughs> Alright, so let's get the misconceptions out of the way and basically this is not going to be a video about catastrophic disasters like tsunamis and earthquakes and even things like colliding asteroids with the planet Earth because these events are very unlikely to destroy the humanity. Statistically speaking, even an asteroid collision that would be basically this powerful to destroy the entire North America would uh, only happen once every 20 to 50 million years, if even. And uh, this kind of a collision would only occur in a very, very unlikely sort of scenario. And we would have a, a lot of time to prepare for it. It would actually be very, very visible to us probably hundreds of years before it actually happens. So this is not going to happen. We're not going to be talking about this. We're also not going to be talking about any kind of super uh, powerful supernova that might uh, cause the extinction event or anything else that might be a little bit more Hollywood based like I think today modern movies actually spoil us a little bit making us think that all of these events are very likely to occur where in reality a situation that you see on the screen right now is almost not going to happen for sure at least for the next few billion years anyway so we're going to be talking about something closer to home and something that is more likely to happen starting with uh number one and number one here is actually something is that is currently happening with another species and these are in no particular order but the number one potential chance for humanity to disappear is in relation to some sort of a pathogen either made by nature or by us now, i'm actually reusing a video here from a uh, review i made of a game called plague inc that simulates various pathogens and how they can completely exterminate humanity you can kind of see the red spots there on the map they actually re were representing uh various countries that were infected by my homemade pathogen so this can be either a pathogen like a virus or a bacteria or maybe even something like a fungus now this uh, the fungal infection is something that's actually affecting a species on Earth right now. This is a video from California Academy of, uh, Academy of Sciences, and it talks about this unusual pathogen uh, that's actually a fungus called uh, chytrid, and it's basically killing frogs around the world, and we don't really know how to stop it. We don't really know how to save these little guys, and they seem to be slowly going extinct because of this unusual fungus that is found pretty much everywhere around the world. And it's literally killing them all, like, for good. So we might actually lose our frogs, and this obviously will affect a lot of other species as well. So a fungal infection could actually easily spread across the population and uh, basically wipe out humanity just like any other disease and this is always a possibility even though it's often used in like zombie movies for example. So there is a chance that this might uh, kill us too. Another more likely event and this is something that's always in the news is of course something related to global warming. Now. I know many people don't really believe it's a thing and maybe people always argue that it's some sort of a scientific misrepresentation or it's caused by the sun and whatnot. But you know what? I actually have a CO2 sensor at home and I always measure things with CO2 uh, sensor that I have just to see the differences and how easily it is to um, affect the climate at home. And here in Universe Sandbox you can actually play around with carbon dioxide levels and basically see what happens if you like boost it to a thousand ppmv which is sometimes this actually is what i have in my house when i'm cooking now if you wait long enough you'll notice that the temperature actually does start rising quite dramatically it will change to about 17 degrees first and then we'll keep climbing higher and higher so the temperature changes can be actually quite dramatic and this obviously will affect uh, sea levels this will affect the ice caps and will affect a lot of other things and uh, recently we've discovered that this actually creates a lot of other climatic um, anomalies like increase in uh, typhoons and uh, 
hurricanes, increase in a lot of other unusual weather phenomena that will affect the rest of the planet. And most importantly, it will actually possibly even increase the chance for unusual uh, tropical bacteria and viruses to create a super virus that might lead us to scenario number one, the pathogen that can kill us all. So there's a lot of really unusual uh, things that the temperature increase, even by two or three degrees, will create without us even realizing this might happen. So global warming and climate change is a super, super uh, important thing to, to deal with, and the sooner the better. Now, we obviously have other sort of things to deal with, and one of them is human-made as well. This is nuclear weapons. So this wasn't really a thing until North Korea started to threaten the rest of the world with their newly created nuclear weapons. So now we're back to being under a nuclear threat from a country that for me is only a few hundred kilometers up north. Nuclear weapons have always been sort of a big thing uh, for humanity, and the chance of this actually being uh, the end of us is also very high, mostly because of obviously radioactive material that they produce as a result of an explosion. So if you've never been to Hiroshima or Nagasaki, if you've never seen the museums that show you the after effects of the bombs that the US dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, it is actually kind of scary and it does show you how even these little bombs that weren't really that, pop, um, that po powerful compared to the other nuclear bombs created a tremendously powerful explosion that was absolutely devastating for those two little cities in Japan that were basically wiped out of the uh, face of Earth, at least for a little bit. Now they're actually doing just fine. But it, it is worth visiting those cities just to see how tremendously powerful and scary these weapons are when it comes to you know, the survival of our species. Because the chain reaction that you can see on the screen right now created such a powerful explosion that it basically eliminated a lot of people really fast, which is really, really scary. Anyway, so nuclear disaster is always something we need to be aware of. And that, of course, includes things like uh, nuclear reactors that might explode by accident and cause a lot of pollution as well. And then, of course, there is this thing. Now, what exactly is going on here? Well, that's something that Elon Musk has been warning us for a few years now, and he might be right. The Robot Ascension. This is actually a 2017 video from uh, DARPA Robotics Challenge. DARPA is a government organization that deals with national defense, and they always have these challenges for people to bring their best robots so they can basically possibly use them to create some sort of a weaponized robotic thing that's is terrifying and murderous and like what is what is this like look at this scary thing i would never want to buy this who would ever want to create something that is so terrifying anyway so these things might be the end of humanity even if you consider the fact that they're so much better than us at everything now every single game you can think of they can beat us in like seconds not, not to mention that uh, they even move faster, they're stronger than us, and they do everything a little bit better. So by the time we reach the point known as singularity, when basically the artificial intelligence becomes smarter than human intelligence, uh, is relatively close. As a matter of fact, we only have a few years left before the computers can actually reach the potential of being more powerful than humans in terms of uh, actual processing power or I guess brain power. So that's a little bit scary. But if they actually end up being self-aware and destructive, that's when we have to start worrying about things. But if they just remain as a kind of entertainment for us and basically help us with life and things, then it's not a big deal. But you know what? Until future, we won't really be able to tell. Anyway, and the last effect I wanted to talk about is something scientists refer to as the snowball effect or essentially the combination of smaller factors that add up to one big factor. So think of this as global warming, along with prevalence of various pathogens being increased around the world, causing a lot more climate changes and eventually a collapse of ecosystems that causes even more problems. And eventually we have no food left and there's no going back until this is the end of humanity. So think of it not as a large asteroid destroying humanity right away, but tiny pieces of rock falling from the skies 
and slowly nibbing away and killing everyone one by one. In other words, it's a very slow process, but each of these factors will add up to one large extinction event. So this is something we should be watching out for in order for us to avoid destroying our beautiful planet Earth, because it is a very, very interesting world that is very easily affected by various factors. And we've been doing a pretty good job at doing that, so don't think of the human extinction as something as dramatic as this. It will most likely be something a lot slower and a lot more unpredictable. Anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about in this video, and hopefully you learn a little bit more about various factors affecting humanity, and also various things that might actually affect planet Earth in the future and change things for various types of life on Earth. I'll see you guys tomorrow, come back tomorrow to learn something else about science, space, or something else you may have not known, and if I haven't mentioned one of the potential causes of destruction for humanity, please post them in the comments below, because I would like to make this into another video in the future. I'll see you guys tomorrow, space out, and as always, bye bye.